A benefit concert is set for this weekend to raise money to support the Greenwood Rising Center, Black Wall Street uh, History Center in Tulsa. It's called Oh Glory, an Evening of Spirituals. Joining us now to talk more about the event is Donald Ryan and Joseph Bias. They're both going to be performing at the concert this Sunday. So thanks for being here, you guys. Good to be here. So let's talk about spirituals. They're also known as freedom songs, but for people who might not be familiar, will you talk a little bit about what they are? Well, the spirituals really uh, are an outgrowth of the time of slavery. These were songs that were passed down by oral tradition from one generation to the next, but they were songs of hope. They were songs that the slaves would sing, you know, whether they were uh, working or whether they were worshiping or whatever. They were songs of hope of a future life that was going to be better than what they were experiencing at the time. So the spirituals, John W. Work uh, really uh, codified uh, much of what we call spirituals today into four different categories of songs. Spirituals, sorrow songs, jubilees, and uh, 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 songs of, of, of the heart, mm -hmm. you know, songs of, that, that spoke to the issues of the time, you know, the desire to be out from under the oppression of slavery and the hope of heaven. You know, so that's, that's really the, the origin of it. But it's become now really uh, a part of American culture. Mm -hmm. You know, the spiritual speaks to anyone who is going through struggles in life and who isn't. Mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> right. And it provides hope. It provides a sense of, of, uh, of peace, mm -hmm. you know, of encouragement, you know, and uh, it can uh, rev you up and get you excited too. <laughs> and that might answer my next question because I wanted to know why you chose spirituals to be featured in this concert, but it sounds like for those reasons. Well, it's uh uh, so much of a long-standing tradition. Uh, it, it appeals to the singers among us, especially because it was done by, uh, presented in formal concerts mm -hmm. by some of the best singers of the African-American community. Mm -hmm. uh, going back from, you know, William Warfield, Marian Anderson, Paul, Paul Robeson, Robeson. Yeah. Uh, and, and Leontine Price even, and just about all of the, the, the renowned mm -hmm. uh, black singers do spirituals mm -hmm. because it's it uh they have well it gives a chance to show off the voice uh -huh. but also it's a great music yes well and and <coughs> donald you'll, you're a pianist and yes. you're going to be singing joseph yes. mm -hmm. what can folks expect out of the benefit concert on sunday well musically there'll be three of us singing it'll be phil armstrong and joelyn mccormick will be with us and donald will be playing mm -hmm. piano and i'll be singing and uh, we're going to be doing a series of spirituals, but we're also going to be doing some songs that are inspired sort of by spirituals. Uh, some works by Gershwin and uh, uh, Vince Yeomans and mm -hmm. various other American composers and whatnot. Yeah. And this is all to raise money for the Greenwood Rising uh, right. Center and, yeah. and the, the Greenwood community. So right. uh, talk about just where the money will go and, and why it's so important to you to do this. What if you let them know? Well, uh, I'll Phil Armstrong is the, the recently retired, he's one of the singers, he's a re retired interim director at Greenwood Rising and uh, he was the one who opened and so uh, Phil would be uh, better able to say exactly, mm -hmm. uh, you know, give you the, all of the in and out. But it's, uh, it's for education mm -hmm. in the, the, the presentation of the displays at the center itself and the outreaches mm -hmm. to the community both uh well to the immediate community around uh, uh the center mm -hmm. as well as the amount of tourists who would come in to look well it's truly a world-class center and we want to get the details out the benefit concert will be this sunday february 19th at 6 p.m it's at the philbrook museum wilson hall auditorium tickets are 50 dollars for adults 25 for children 12 and under we've got all of the details over at newson6.com and we appreciate you both for being here well, this you. morning thank and good luck this you. weekend i know yeah. it'll be a wonderful celebration thanks thank you there it'll be a great <laughs> concert yes yes Yes, indeed. And hopefully weather will be nice as well. Let's check in with Stephen Nairns for that.